हेलो स्टूडेंट्स गुड टाइम टू ऑल आई एम चंदन कुमार प्रधान वेलकम टू दिस चैनल चंदन फिजिक्स इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस फ्रांक आर्स एक्सपेरिमेंट लेट्स वेगेन अकॉर्डिंग टू बोर्स मॉडल ऑफ एन आइटम देयर आर ए पॉस्टुलेट ऑन दैट पॉस्टुलेट वी डिस्कस there are discrete energy exchange by atom and that postulate was experimentally proved by frank and hors such experiment was named as frank hors experiment in an atom let uh, we say that be the ground state this is the ground state this one be the excited state and the electron present at ground state when absorb energy that is transform to that of excited state energy absorbed at the same time when the electrons on that of excited state when the release energy the transform to its ground state here energy is released either energy absorbed or energy released that energy absorbed and released in the form of quanta of energy at nrc is in the form of quanta that one we prove by using frank and hors experiment frank another scientist hors experimentally conclude that that uh, bohr's postulate of atomic model as there are discrete energy exchange by atom experimental arrangement the experiment was performed with a tube that a tube containing mercury vapor glass tube in glass tube that is a triode valve within that mercury vapors are there mercury in the form of vapor why we choose mercury vapor because in case of mercury vapor the atoms of such mercury are uh, not uh, collide with each other means there are uh, some separation in between the atoms of such mercury vapor that is a glass tube this glass tube for triode valve so one is cathode 
denoted by C. Another one is grid. Next one, a node denoted by A. Thermal electrons are emitted from heated cathode C. From that of cathode, electrons are emitted due to the phenomenon of thermionic emission means heat energy is required to emit electrons from that cathode. Therefore, we use filament battery that uh, filament used to heat and due to that uh, heat, heat energy is supplied to cathode and electrons are emitted from that of cathode and these electrons are emitted from cathode due to thermal energy and that uh, process we call thermionic emissions and these electrons are named as thermal electrons. Thermal electrons are emitted from heated cathode C. These electrons are accelerated by potential difference V A towards the grid Z. Now, electrons are emitted from that of cathode. Now, these electrons are accelerated towards that grid due to a potential difference and that the potential difference is applied negative, positive and the potential difference in between these two V of A. Due to the application of that uh, potential difference, so the electrons are emitted from that of cathode are now accelerated towards G. Hence, every electron reaching G must have acquired a kinetic energy and that kinetic energy is equal to electronic charge into potential difference. Electrons are emitted from that of cathode and again these are accelerated towards G due to the application of that potential difference V A. So, these electrons acquire some kinetic energy and that kinetic energy is equal to the charge of electron and the potential difference energy is equal to E V. So, electronic charge E and potential difference V of A and each electron have kinetic energy E V A. After crossing G, the electron pass through a retarding potential V R and only those electrons reach the node A which are sufficient energy to overcome retarding potential V R. Now, electrons towards G. In between A and C, A node and grid, again another potential difference is used.
that potential difference we call retarding potential which is given as vr what is the use of that retarding potential as we provide that accelerating potential so electrons are accelerated towards z and again from z to that of anode and those electrons are from that of g to a which overcome that retarding potential means if uh, that electron have the kinetic energy e into v a and those electron passes towards that anode those having the kinetic energy greater than e into v r the electrons within that region have the kinetic energy electronic charge into potential difference if those electrons have the kinetic energy greater than e into v r such electron towards that of anode after crossing g the electrons pass through a retarding potential v r and only those electrons reach the anode a which are sufficient energy to overcome the retarding potential vr as a result current ip flows through the grid anode circuit which is measured by a milliameter the electrons passes through that of grid anode circuit those electrons have greater potential difference than that of retarding potential those electrons having the potential difference greater that of retarding potential these are passes across that uh, circuit so electronic current flow and that current uh, we denote as i of p which is measured by milliameter in that of grid anode circuit what be the current across that uh, grid anode circuit that one is measured by that milliameter va which is accelerating potential accelerating potential that provide acceleration to that of uh, electrons and here the electrons are present having the kinetic energy e into v a and v r this is the retarding potential retarding potential which obstruct uh, the flow of electrons towards it and uh, in that region the electrons having the kinetic energy e into v r if uh, the electrons having the kinetic energy greater than that of uh, e into v r then those electrons uh, pass through that of grid anode circuit so there will be a current flow and that current flow is measured across that of milliameter this is the experimental arrangement by frank and hors next what uh, be the observations uh, we drawn from this experimental arrangement here uh, there are mercury vapors in that of uh, these are mercury mercury vapor mercury vapor and electrons there and these electrons collide with these mercury vapors electrons collide with mercury atoms means electron is lighter as comparison to that of mercury atom therefore collision occurred and what be the nature of that collision either that one is elastic or inelastic 
in case of elastic collision if uh, it is uh, elastic collision then the energy is not changed after collision energy is not changed but in case of inelastic collision energy is changed after collision these electrons are collided with these mercury atoms on that basis we say either it is uh, in elastic or non elastic collision if energy is changed then it is inelastic if energy is not changed then we call it as elastic collision that concept is used the experiment involves measuring the electron current reaching a as a function of that oscillating voltage va what be the oscillating voltage accordingly current is measured and we plot a graph in between oscillating voltage and current current in microampere sorry milliampere and voltage in volts in x axis current in y axis and we plotted these results on that graph what we observe from that experiment as well as from that graph as va increased from zero oscillating potential oscillating potential increased the kinetic energy e into va electronic charge into oscillating potential with the kinetic energy acquired by these electrons the kinetic energy e va of electron is increased so that more and more electrons cross c and this the n node a as increasing in oscillating potential more and more electrons cross that uh, grid g and reaching at uh, n node a indicating increase in current i v so the rise of current from o to m in graph indicating that up to the corresponding value of the oscillating voltage and the collision of the electrons and the atoms are elastic collision and the number of electrons reaching a increases with va as oscillating potential increases so the current we measured also increased and it is as if at maximum in that of situation the collision in between electrons and the mercury vapor is elastic in nature next the abrupt fall in ip from m to n indicates that when the kinetic energy of the electrons is e v of uh, a1 are this voltage these electrons undergo inelastic collisions with atoms close to g so that their kinetic energy after crossing g is smaller than e v r from that of graph it seen that at that potential v a1 suddenly this uh, current decreases means there will be inelastic collision in between the electron and the mercury vapor that's why current decreases the atoms close to g so that their kinetic energy after crossing g is smaller than if here the potential in that region that is the retarding potential and the kinetic energy of such electron with the retarding potential e v r 
and those electrons which have kinetic energy less than that of retarding potential retarding potential v r kinetic energy e here v a if e v a is less than e v r if e v a that is the kinetic energy of such electrons is uh, less than e v r this is the kinetic energy of those electrons then they pass the grid they pass to anode they pass to anode and if uh, e v a this is the kinetic energy of such electron is greater than e v r sorry if uh, that kinetic energy is less than e v r they do not pass they do not pass to that of anode if uh, that uh, kinetic energy is greater than that retarding potential kinetic energy of such electron then they pass pass to anode that we see in case of graph here so that their kinetic energy after crossing g is smaller than that of e v r further rise from n to p shows that the collisions of electrons are again elastic then from the graph it is sudden rise from n to p and at p abruptly change again sudden rise and then fall due to that of rise we call these are elastic collisions and abrupt fall this is the inelastic collision again elastic collision then inelastic collision further rise from n to p shows that the collisions of electrons are again elastic and the electrons after inelastic collisions again at voltage v a2 at uh, voltage v a2 again inelastic then elastic collision again at voltage v a3 inelastic collision inelastic collision again at voltage v a2 and after that they gain sufficient energy to overcome that retarding potential v r thus the collision continue to be elastic up to v a2 here elastic collision then inelastic collision up to this elastic collision then inelastic collision elastic collision inelastic collision at b a2 against most of the collisions are inelastic and uh, these are sudden drop of ip from p to q accordingly current increases falls increased decrease increase and decrease from that of graph under such observation we draw the conclusion what we conclude from the experiment it conclude that the collisions of electron with atoms are inelastic the collisions of electrons with atoms are inelastic only for some critical potentials v a1 v a2 v a3 at these critical potentials the collisions we called as inelastic at that point it falls at that point falls at that point falls and these critical potentials critical potentials we notice the inelastic collision from it is uh, conclude that the atoms absorb discrete energies at that potential it absorb the discrete energy e v1 at the potential v a2 it absorbs the energy e v a2 again at potential v a3 it absorbs the energy e v3 to get excited from that uh, it is conclude that the energies other than this are not transformed so we call these are the quantized frank and hors observe that the sudden fall in that uh, current ip in that of value 4.9 volt 9.8 volt and 14.7 volt that is the 
potential, but in numericals, Frankel Hodge notice at that of point, it is a shorten rise uh, for 4.9 volt, uh, that is uh, 9.8 volt, here is 14.7 uh, uh, volt. Look here, 4.9 volt, that is 1 into 4.9. Here 9.8 that is 2 into 4.9 and 14.7 3 into 4.9 in this cases that is 1, 2, 1, 3 and that uh, energy value 4.9 means these energies are quantized. So, it is concluded that energy levels in atoms are quantized and the absorption and emission of radiation by these atoms are quanta in nature, but not continuous. As we first uh, indicating that either energy absorbed or energy released, but this energy absorption or uh, emission are in the form of quanta. As you notice here, 1 into 4.9, 2 into 4.9, 3 into 4.9 in the form of quanta and that observation we notice in these graphs. So, here with the help of this video lecture, we understand the concept of Frank Hurst experiment that is an experiment performed to showcase one of the postulate of Bohr regarding atom as a discrete energy exchange by atom. Experimental arrangement glass tube, in that of glass tube, there are uh, mercury vapors. This is the triad valve, cathode, grid, anode. Filament is used to supply heat to cathode, means uh, thermionic emission of electrons are there. Accelerating potential, then retarding potential is used. And the kinetic energy of such electrons, electronic charge into accelerating potential. Kinetic en energy of those electrons in that of region, electronic charge, retarding potential. If that kinetic energy is greater than this kinetic energy then electrons are passed if that kinetic energy is less than those kinetic energy then electrons are within that of region observations from that uh, experimental setup we plotted a graph between va and ip and we see this type of graphs in om region we notice elastic collision suddenly it is changed so at that of situation we see inelastic Elastic, inelastic, elastic, and inelastic collisions. From this, we notice the energy levels in atoms are quantized, and the absorption and emission of radiation by these atoms are quanta in nature, but uh, these energy levels are not continuous. So, with this useful and uh, informative notes, let me wind up this session. Thank you.